Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel. I am Rex, and this, oh, uh, I'm always a sucker for the little the, clear glass I know, portion. it's a shelter point. We, we uh, turns out, like these guys. Yeah, yeah. Um, a few people, including Teresa Smith, among others, have sent us, uh, it's already open. It doesn't feel like it, but it's already open. Yeah. Uh, but, but wait, this is, so this is from Patrick Evans. Wait, wait, before you do anything. Hold on. Oh, no, oh, your hands are cold. And a little clammy. Hold, hold. Wait, no. Patrick Evans. We're not bastarding. <laughs> Are we not? No. Can oh. I hold your hands anyways? By the way, look at that right there, which still burns. That's where I found the top of the oven. I won't. <laughs> <laughs> this is Patrick Evans, one of the owner of Shelter Point. Uh, so we reviewed so many Shelter Points. That's about as reppy as you get. Yeah, that he emailed us and he was like, hey, I just wanted to say thanks for... And happy Christmas. This is last year. Yeah. You know, for reviewing Shelter Point, we really appreciate it. And I've sent you something kind of cool. Okay. So, as anybody that has a financial interest, a vested interest yeah. in a whiskey organization, they don't get Magnificent Bastard. They don't get Patron Sainted. They get an awkward moment of, of um, silence. <coughs> <coughs> So, I am actually kind of excited about this. Yeah. Bottle. Yeah, because here's why. Mm. Once you hear the details of what's in this bottle, yes. don't smell it yet. I don't want to smell it. I know. This is a five year old bourbon cask malted and unmalted barley mixed together. Hold on. Five year old bourbon cask. Right. Malted and unmalted barley. Right. Okay. And then finished for eight months in Isla barrels. So, a used bourbon barrel. Yeah. And then. Eight months in an Isla barrel. You got yeah. the smoky scotch barrel. So okay. all used its whole life. Yeah, yeah. Oh, weird. So hold on. That this, is like dark whole wheat bread and peanut butter. This is <laughs> this is like a fancy sitting room with the big leather chairs. It is as dark and, and musty. The books on the shelf. Ooh. This reminds me of like a real peanut butter that you buy at like Whole Foods where it doesn't have any sugar added. Right. Yeah. And it's just the paste of... Yeah, and then on a heavy wheat, on a heavy bread. This is like, uh, this is, you have to have some gray hair in order to drink this whiskey. You have to have wow. seen, you have to have seen some shit. You gotta be around, you know, you have to have taken some laps around the block there. You can smell the fireplace. Yeah. And like the tools that you use to yeah. move logs around, like the metal, yeah. hot metal and ash. And... You're so hardcore into the old school ways of doing things. Not only do you read the newspaper, you also have one of those giant wooden sticks that you put the newspaper in. So you oh, just hold the stick. And it holds like, it. Yeah. Like they have at the library. <laughs> yeah. That's and, how. And then you have a little rack that you have like three or four of that's them. That's how the serious you are. Jeeves put your daily papers. About your smoking jacket. On jackets. them. <laughs> yeah. I really want a smoking jacket. <laughs> you are a smoking jacket guy. <laughs> I totally, right? The thing is, when you're smoking inside, you put. When you take off the coat that you wear everywhere else, right. anywhere you go with it, it's like, oh, you're smoking cigars, huh? <laughs> it's like, there's a practical use for a smoking mm -hmm. jacket. All right, so let's... let's I, although the jeans are a problem, so it might need to be a smoking onesie. Let's try and give notes... <laughs> <laughs> let's try and give notes that are helpful. But though we did a lot of helpful notes. <laughs> well, the, Not on the taste yet. Well, the Isla Barrel mm -hmm. comes across as like a nutty earthiness. Oh, d whoa! A nutty earthiness on that nose, and then that's usually going to dominate most of the flavors. There's like, uh, yeah, th there's the you get the malt in there, but it's it's the front leading flavor is the the smokiness, the Isla. Dude, try this, and this is like charred honey with a hint of vegetable, like gar like asparagus garden. You know what I mean? So, I'm not backing off of. The nuttiness. Yeah. Roasted nuts. Yeah. Right? And Roasted you know, the and then honey. You know, fin you, uh, you get like a, a container of mixed nuts. Mm -hmm. The finish of mixed nuts. Yeah, that waxy after nut yeah. taste. Yeah. Yeah. And With, a weird green vegetal note. Well, it's... Not it's, green like pine. No, no, not... Yeah. Like not, actual vegetables. Charred, maybe even roasted vegetables. Like roasted charred like vegetables. Like grilled. Yeah. Grilled, grilled vegetables. vegetables. Oh, wow. This is super interesting. Yeah, this is an exploration whiskey, for sure. It's a, it's its own thing. It's a unique thing. See, this is what you get when you say, let's make a label classy. L this was my preference. 
This would not be your preference. Yeah, because it's invisible. It's super classy. But I do like like the gold reflective. Yeah, and that's an actual illustration by an artist. Yeah, no, show. Well, you know, it's just right there. You yeah, can yeah. see it. Just, just look. Just look. What's wrong with you? Guys. Just look. Use your eyes. Use your eye holes. And look. Um, Use your eye hole, not your mouth hole. Not, <laughs> not a tremendous amount of sweetness. Right? No. Not sugary, no. not fruity, not desserty. Not in the smell or the taste. Now yeah, that I'm going back to like, the nose, yeah. it's even more ashy in the nose. I was not getting that ashiness in the nose as much until I tasted it. Yeah. Now and, it's jumping out. And there's enough multi character there that you can find it if you look through the smoke. Look through the like the nutty earthiness. Um, and also like the, the, the peat, the way that they're finishing this. With the Isla Barrel, yeah, it's not turning into like the classic peat notes that you would get, like a really um, rich, savory, meaty peat. It's not a super briny peat. No, the closest peat I think would be like a, a dry, earthy nut. It's mulchy. It's, mul it's mulchy, but not wet. Yeah, that's yeah. a weird. But, yeah, yeah. But I, what do you compare this to? No, I don't think. I think it's its own special deal. It's <sighs> unique. It's a unique animal. Sorry, guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No comparisons for you. <laughs> But you can pull down something regardless. Stephen Servin. Stephen, Stephen. Stephen, Stephen. 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 Stephen Servin. Stephen Servin. If someone catches y'all drinking during dry week, can we dye your beards red, white, and blue? You know, so. You should be an example to us. Yes, you can do that. Do you know Done. what it takes to do that, Rex? To dye a beard? Yeah, so hair in general, you can't dye colors into dark hair. Real, very well. So you have to bleach it. So you have to bleach before you color. But now I kind of want to drink during dry week. I <laughs> just <laughs> go to like some bars, some whiskey festival. Yeah, <laughs> bing, bing, bing. <laughs> now you want to spray it. You can spray paint it. Uh, yeah, you're not going to catch us drinking. Hey, uh, Grand Old Par is what I'm going to do because I remember it being this like budget, ashy, smoky blend of 12 year old okay. Grand Old Par. You're pulling out Grand Old Par. Yeah. Grand Old it's more, Par. It's more malt musty. Yeah. And it's got, it's a hint of that same ashy note, but it's way more malt funk. Yeah, it is way more malty. And it's a hint. A hint. It's a hint. You I don't mean, think I'm going to get a blend that really competes nah, with this that, ashy That would note. take like hours of painstakingly, what about painstakingly sifting through dozens and dozens of whiskeys. I'm talking myself into this. <laughs> David Jollis. David Jollis. If you could be the best person in the world at one thing, what would you pick that one thing to be? No. Being tall. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the best at being tall. Knowing things. Just intuitively knowing things. That's just so... I'd like to be really smart. Yeah, but like like in any... In any so knowing you, the right decision... Did you see my answer? No. Do you know what my answer was? No. <laughs> Always being able to tell whether or not somebody's telling the truth. Oh, <laughs> that's close. Yeah, that's very close. It's, it's the same it, bandwidth. Uh, I would want to, like, in business, always know, like, this next decision, this is absolute. Of all of the things that are presented to you, right. this is what you need to do. Uh, yes, it, but, but, but here, I'm going to make put even um, a more narrow-focused, best-in-the-world skill set. I want the world's best BS meter. Oh, okay. Right? Because yeah. same situation. You can be with the world's best BS Best BS meter. You can be in conversations with business people, and to the extent that they are kind of fudging the lines, or they're drinking a little bit too much of their own Kool-Aid, and to be able to tell what's real and what's not, that would mm -hmm. be amazing. No. I, I got the big peat, because I remember this being an Isla blend that was really dramatic. There's a lot more. It is not standing up to the smoke level of this. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if when they got those Isla barrels they finished in, wow. if they still had Isla in them. <laughs> <laughs> Because holy crap! And also holy crap on the color, man. It's yeah, well, it's old, probably older. Well, maybe not. Yeah, that much I don't older. know. Remember uh, Scotland, right? So yeah, yeah, Scotland. But still, this was I don't know things. All right, super interesting. Thank you, Cricket Man, for the whiskeys. Patrick feel, Evans. Feel feel free to send us more. I'm totally gonna sneak into Shelter Point if, when I get to Vancouver. Oh, Vancouver? Oh, yes, yeah, right. Vancouver I Island. I love Vancouver. Technically Vancouver Island, but that'd be amazing. Um, Making I'm whiskey in Vancouver. Yeah, when I'm going to go hang out with Hoots and Thomas. Oh, right on. Yeah. I haven't scheduled it yet, but I'm going to do it. Okay. Probably when it's really, really hot here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
that's, that's, <laughs> I'm gonna go to Canada. That's a good move. Yeah. <laughs> that I am. I your ideas intrigue me, and I would like to subscribe to your newsletter. That's Here. not like and subscribe. That's all I can think of. Is Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight me, I fight for a friend. If you steal me, you steal your liver's heart. <laughs> and if you drink, may, may you drink, drink with us. <laughs>